Hi, I'm Nikki B, and welcome to my full body dumbbell workout today. Okay, we're going to work for 30 minutes. We're going to work the entire body. We're going to work the lower body first, then the upper body, and we're going to finish with core. We have five exercises per section, so for the lower body we have five. We'll repeat them through twice before then going on to the upper body. We'll work each exercise for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest. And I'll explain the next upcoming exercise in that 20 seconds so you know exactly what you are doing. Please make sure that you've warmed up before you start, either the warm up on my channel or a warm up of your choice. Weight wise, that will depend on your fitness and strength level, but try and choose a weight that will challenge you. Okay, I'm going to show you the first exercise because when I hit my timer, we're going to get straight into it. So we have a narrow to wide squat. Depending on the weight of your uh, dumbbell so you can hold one in front of your chest and we're going to do a narrow squat step out wider squat narrow squat and then to the other side okay if you weights are slightly lighter you can have the two and you can rest them on those shoulders go into that narrow squat into that wide squat okay so you've got two choices there let's hit that timer and like I said we go straight into those squats So, I'm going to take the two, make sure you keep that chest up, that back is nice and straight. That core is engaged. Perfect. Nice and controlled. Remember to breathe. Almost there. And relax. Okay, we've got reverse lunge calf raise. So you're going to step back into that reverse lunge, forward, calf raise. Back with the other leg, calf raise. Okay, alternating those reverse lunges. Ready? In five. So now step back up onto those toes. Make sure you check those knee alignments. That front knee isn't coming over those toes. Excellent. When you're in that lunge, it's almost a straight down and up. You're not leaning forwards. Okay, give those legs a shake. We have deadlift to side raise. So hinging at the hips into that deadlift, come up, side leg raise with the right leg. Come down to that deadlift, side leg left raise with the left leg. So remember we're hinging at the hips here. The bottom is going back. The chest is up. As you come down, really feel it in those glutes, squeezing that bottom on the way up. And then that lateral leg lift, squeeze at the top. Excellent. Keep that chest up. Okay, we have curtsy lunges. So holding the dumbbells at the side, palms facing your thighs. You're going to curtsy to the right, centre and left. Keeping those toes in front. Are we ready? In three. Again, for this one, if the weight is too heavy, you can just do it with the one weight. Fantastic. Let's 
Try and go nice and low if you can. But any pain in those knees, come straight back up. Five. And relax. Okay, we have plie pulses. I'm just taking the one, right this time, hold it in front of my chest. Toes, wide stance, toes facing out. We're coming down for three, squeeze up. Down for three, squeeze as you go up. So core engaged, coming down. Two, three, squeeze. Excellent. Wonderful. The last 15 seconds, we're going to stay down and pulse. Okay, on the next one, stay down. And if you can, pulse to the end. If you need to shake it out, do so. Stay down low. Really feeling it in those inner thighs. Ooh, three. Oh, shake it out, 20 seconds. Round one complete. We're going to go back to those narrow, wide squats. So again, one or two dumbbells, placing one in front or on your shoulder. Core engaged, off you go. So coming down, stepping out. Make sure that those knees are following those toes. That back is nice and straight, chest is up. Wonderful. These are tough. Give me 10 more seconds. Oh, shake them out. We're going back to those reverse lunge calf raise. Again, with all of these, you can just hold the one dumbbell if you need to. So step back to the right first, feet just a bit about hip width apart and step back into that lunge centre up onto those tippy toes for that calf raise. Again if you can come down nice and low in that lunge position. Perfect. Last one. And shake them out. We're going to those deadlifts. This time we're not doing the side lift, we're just doing deadlift. Okay, so we're going to get the maximum out of those deadlifts. Remember those dumbbells stay close to the thighs. Coming down, squeeze those glutes at bottom on the way up. So, hinge, that bottom's going straight back. That's it, squeeze, nice and controlled. Almost there, 10 seconds. Whew, shake them out, we're going to those curtsy lunges. So, toes facing forwards, you have a curtsy to the right, center, and then to the left. You ready? In five. So keep that core engaged. Go. Really feeling this one. 15 seconds. Oh, 
Last year, five. And shake them out. Okay, I'm gonna drop my weight and we're gonna to go to those plie pulses. So we're in a nice wide stance. Those toes are facing out. That core is engaged and we're gonna pulse for three. <clears throat> so one, two, three, and squeeze it up. Excellent. Keep going, I'll pull out when to stop. Okay. On the next one, stay down low. Pulse it. Little movements, just little bounces. For three. Oh, shake it out. Okay, lower body done. We're going to the upper body. We're going to rows. So, nice straight back. Lean forward. Drop those arms in front. We're going to do single, single, double. Now as you go, that arm brushes past the side of your body, squeezing that shoulder blade at the top. Okay, so single, single, double. So I forgot to say, we do actually have a 30 second rest in between each section. So single, single, double. Squeeze, squeeze, double. Make it controlled. So once you get to that upper position, don't just let those arms fall, control it down. That neck is neutral. Perfect. Almost there, five seconds. And relax, we're gonna go down to the floor, we're gonna work the chest now. So we're going to do chest flies, laying down, those arms up above in line with your chest and you're going to come out to the side, the back of those arms just tapping the floor and squeezing back up, those elbows are soft. So coming down nice and controlled, squeezing back up, down for two, up for two. Again that back of that arm just tapping the floor before we come back up. That's it, make sure those dumbbells are in line with that chest. Superb. Okay, safely put those weights down before you stand up. And we're going to go into a hammer curl to press. So palms facing outside of your thigh. We're going to hammer curl, press to the ceiling, coming down, back to that hammer curl. So palms face each other. In, press to the ceiling, and down. Make sure those arms are in, they're tucked in, they're not flaring out to the side. And that core is engaged, and that back is nice and straight. Now you may find it easier to have to step back, go with what works for you. I personally am better in this position, but everybody is different. 15 seconds. Five. Whew, okay. I'm going to place one down, we're going to do tricep kick back. So working the right arm on this round. Take that right leg back and we're going to squeeze that arm back. Really squeeze, so you should be feeling it in the back of that arm. Again, arm staying close to your body. So squeeze. Again, you might find it better in this position. Nice and controlled again on the way up and on the way back down. Keep that back nice and straight, that neck is neutral. I 
I'm definitely feeling this one. <laughs> well done, 10 seconds. Oh, and relax, okay. I'm gonna drop my weight for the next one. We're gonna to go to upright row to front raise. So palms facing the front of your thighs. Bringing those dumbbells up under that chin, back down into front raise. Okay, so up into front raise. So you can also do one arm front raises, okay? Again, depending on those weights. Core engaged, back nice and straight. Those front raises coming no higher than shoulder height. Wonderful. Five. Ooh, and relax, okay. Let's place them down, just give those arms a quick shake. We're gonna go back through those exercises again. So we have that uh, bent over row to begin. Single, single, double. Remember, back nice and straight, neck neutral. So those back straight, those arms hanging down in front. Squeeze, squeeze, and double. Perfect. You can hear the birds chirping outside. You might not be able to hear them with the microphone, but they're happily singing. Keep going. Whew, okay. Down we go again, back to those chest flies. Let's move those out of the way. So remember those dumbbells are above that chest. And if you come in, bring them down. Back to the arms, just tap in the floor. And you're going to squeeze back up, again keeping those dumbbells in line with that chest. So, down for two, up for two. Superb. Whew, squeeze on the way up. Fantastic. Almost there. Last one. Oh, and relax. So you can put them down before you come up to standing. We're going to go back to that hammer curl to press. So this was the one where those uh, palms of the hands are facing each other. We're going to do curl, press to the ceiling, and back down. So core engaged. Back nice and straight. Up. Excellent. Two more exercises in this set, and then we're going to go on to core. 15 seconds. the right arm in the round one we're going to do the left arm in this round so again squeezing that arm really feeling it in the back that tricep with these kickbacks ready so back nice and straight neck neutral again you might find it more comfortable in this position but just make sure that back is nice and straight and that core is engaged Excellent. Out 
Hachi. 15 seconds. So you can do it, five seconds. Last one. Oh, okay, give those arms a shake. Whew. Next one, or well, last one, is that upright row to front row. So remember, dumbbells under that chin, front raise or doing one arm at a time depending on those weights. So palms facing your thighs coming up and into that front raise. You have a 30 second rest coming up after this one. I won't forget this time. Ten seconds. Oh, and relax. Okay. So grab a drink if you need to go grab a drink, and I'll show you the first exercise in the core. We have sit up to press. So holding that dumbbell, we're going to come back and press to the ceiling. If that's too challenging, you can just do little movements, bringing those shoulders up off the floor okay but if you can into that sit up press or you can do this with no weight as well so coming down up it's quite explosive on the way up control on the way down Super. So we're not using weights for all of these core exercises, okay? And relax. Okay, so you can put that down. We're going for elbow bicycles this time. So we're going to lean back on those elbows and we're just going to cycle. So we're cycling a bike. Okay? Now, Easier, modified, don't extend those legs as much. Progress to extending those legs. Off you go. That's it, just like you're riding a bike. It's actually more challenging than it looks. Don't worry about speed, go with form over speed. Okay, next we're going to go to bird dog. So we're going to go on all fours. You want those wrists under those shoulders, and we can extend opposite arm to leg. Nice and controlled, that neck is neutral. Okay, so arm and leg. As you extend, try not to rotate those hips, okay? Try and keep them stable. Again, go with form over speed. Really working your core. We're going to grab that weight this time. We're going to go to some Russian twists. So back nice and straight, lean slightly back. And we're going to go opposite sides, following that dumbbell. Again, you can do this without the weight as well. So core engage, lean back, back nice and straight, and follow that dumbbell, those hands. And you can intensify this by lifting those feet off the ground. Again, that all depends on the weight that you are using. Yep. 
keep going. 10 seconds. And relax. Okay, we're going to finish with a plank. So, on those elbows, at 90 degree angle under those shoulders. Now you have the option of being on your knees or progressing up onto those toes. So, just make sure that bottom isn't up in the air. Okay, it's down. And then that neck is neutral. If you need to lower at any point, do so and then rejoin. Excellent. Fifteen seconds. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. And relax. Okay. Final round. So we're going to go back to those sit-up presses. Again, with or without a weight. Last five minutes of work. Ready? In five. So, coming down and pressing up, or staying down, just lifting those shoulders. Make it strong. Extending those legs fully. So, keep cycling again, nice and controlled. Really feeling it <coughs> in that lower abdominal area. Five seconds. Whew. Give them a quick hug. Okay, over we go. We're going back to that bird dog. So check those wrists are under those shoulders. And we can extend opposite arm with arm to leg. So, neck neutral. Squeeze, stretch, and release. Again, trying to make sure those hips don't rotate. Russian twist. So again, with or without a weight for this one. <clears throat> that core is engaged, back nice and straight, leaning back side to side, following those hands. Last two minutes, less than two minutes. So. Again, you can intensify this by lifting those feet off the ground. Keep going, keep going. 
Ten seconds. Let's go to our plank to finish. So we're going to finish strong, last 40 seconds in that plank position. Again, either on those knees or up on those toes. Just make sure that back is nice and straight and that the neck is neutral. So those elbows under those shoulders. Again, bottom isn't up here. And it's not low either, you don't have a dip in that back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five seconds to the bell. Oh, excellent. Well done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please make sure that you cool down and stretch it out. Either the stretch cool down from my channel or one of your own. Also make sure you continue to drink, get those fluids in. Okay, you've worked hard. I hope you enjoyed it again and I look forward to seeing you again on one of my future workouts. Bye for now.